Did you know that uh, 60 million years ago, whales used to actually have legs and feet? I don't know if I'm making this up, but it's similar to how people in EDC have too much crap. Maybe like whales, we need to actually drop some of that crap. But that doesn't mean if 10 of you freaking peasants come here and ask me a question, I'm not going to help you. And don't forget, I am the peasant in chief. All right, first question here. What do you mean by real man? If you have to ask, probably ain't one. If you need validation from other real man. Um, well, first off, this video is called Let's Fix Your EDC Everyday Carry for Peasants, which I put out two weeks ago, which this isn't even my real man video. So I don't even know what you're talking about specifically. Give me a goddamn timestamp so I can know exactly how to fillet your ass. But I'm just going to assume that you're referring to me mentioning that how value men, right, carry themselves a certain way. Give me the points that you are specifically disputing. Like, you know, I, I'm a big fan of wearing analog watches versus wearing a smartwatch. If you want to wear a smartwatch, wear it. I own one. I wear it when I go rucking, et cetera, et cetera. If you're talking about my video I did a couple of years ago when I say real man EDC, where I purposely left out the Oxford comma, just like so people like you on peasant level could wonder what the F I was talking about. Then come at me, bro. It doesn't really matter. But let me know, Mike Reynolds. I would love to know your specific thoughts because, sir, I am a little confused and you also forgot your question mark so it threw me off a little bit it, it threw me off a little bit next nutsack is that really the name of it anyway great storage idea very efficient thumbs up says vlad the impala 5532 i like your name i like your little thumbnail as well it is literally called the nutsack listen you guys may know i am a big fan of my nutsack sling bag a big fan of my nutsack double admin pouch I just had my recently my nutsack double admin pouch actually tore at one of its seams. The warranty process has been magnificent made in America. They're getting their wax canvas from the New England area. I don't know where they're getting their leather from, but it's somewhere in the States as well. I think the only thing that they're sourcing from outside of the States are their premium YKK zippers, which the Japanese are known for anyhow, but they may even be getting those in the United States. I can't say enough things about my nutsack Pause. products because they're great. They're fantastic. Next here, what was your MOS? Once again, we had somebody ask us a couple of weeks ago. It stands for Military Occupation Specialty. Um, well, David, I as I mentioned before, become a channel member. There's going to be an entire Marine X lure story, a origin story, a backstory. Talks about where I'm from, what I did, what I do, and why I'm even on the YouTubes. That's going to be up to you to decide to do because I've answered it during live streams. I've never seen you in a live stream, so obviously you wouldn't know that answer. That's why you're asking it on a video about flashlights. I'm a little confused. It sounds like when you ask, no, you know, when someone asks me that question, my immediate, my immediate reflexive response is you're about to try to come at me, which is more than fine. Come at me. Just, you know, the only two ways you get your ass bounced up off my channel is if you say something racist or say something about my kids. If you want to come at me because you think that my MOS directly correlates to my knowledge on this channel, you're more than welcome to say that because I'm bigger than that. You know, regardless of what my MOS was, regardless if I was a McMap instructor, regardless if I deployed to over 13 countries with operators, I wasn't an operator, but I deployed with them. Regardless if I spent more time in the field than most people that were in the military. Got them. We fucking got them. <laughs> you probably do want to know my MOS because you want to be able to call me a pogue or a person other than a grunt. But you'll learn that if you become a channel member. So make sure you click that join button right down below. It's a three buttons to the left of the like button click that button as well next here question about my yeti panga dan says any gripes about the zipper yeah the zipper is sticky okay it's a big premium honking zipper on this bag it's a 75 liter bag that i was using as a bug out bag it's been replaced by my vertex base camp it's a fantastic bag waterproof because of that zipper but if you don't keep that goddamn zipper lubricated, this is one bag. I've had two bags in my entire experience where if you don't keep the zipper lubricated, you're going to immediately regret it. This is one of them. Another one was a cooler style bag that I picked up at Bucky's. Those are some high power, big ass 
zippers. This is one of them where I just kind of let it sit around for a while, didn't lubricate it, and I almost immediately began to regret it. This is awesome, but how does someone not just come by and yoink the stuff in the back, all that gear and stuff? I've talked about this a lot of times before. As a matter of fact, this video literally talks about my Tanu cover, which is called a Diamondback cover, which weighs over 120 pounds. It's lockable and it's very hard to smash through it with the sludge hammer. A thief's going to be a thief. If he, if he or she really wants to get in the back of my truck, the bed of my truck, they're going to do it. But you are probably the fourth person that wonders, do I have all sorts of expensive gear just in open air in the bed of my lifted truck that doesn't fit in my garage? No, it's not like that. I've said it before. I'll say it again. My stuff is adequately protected as much as it can be, because at the end of the day, if someone really wants to be wormy and squirmy and get in there, they will. But am I just inviting them inside? No, I am not. Bev, is it Bev? Bev says, do you have any comms recommendations other than a sale? Good question. So I'm a big fan of Garmin products. Now, some of the Garmin products, the inReach, the inReach 2, the inReach Mini, all those type of stuff. Some of them have a monthly subscription requirement, but they're going to be good for communicating with the satellite. Garmin satellites are up there. I think they're shared satellites with other competitors and services. But if you need to tap into those and send a text message or be able to walk a trail or something like that, it might be worth paying that twenty dollars a month. One thing I like about Garmin services, at least the last time I checked, is you don't have to just continuously pay them. If you foresee yourself going out on some type of trip or something like that, where there's a possibility where you may lose communication with your cell phones or with your radios or anything like that, then you can begin to pay for the service and have that at peace of mind. I don't know if there's a minimum amount of time you have to pay, like you can just pay a month and turn it off, but it's better than not having it at all. And then, of course, you have other options like a straight up satellite a, a sat phone or you can get a ham radio and get a license which i have ham radios but i don't have a license so i can't use the ham feature unless it's like a straight horrible emergency but i feel more comfortable with stuff like the garmin in reach i'll link that down below if you want to check that out and maybe even grab one for yourself next one here is from evil elvis you've been here for a long time my guy it's been a couple of years but you asked me why do you constantly call your audience peasants degrading and self-deprecating we are free citizens with rights that you fought for. Never forget that. Well, you just said it's self-deprecating. Self-deprecation is one way to bring your audience at ease. I don't mind doing self-deprecation. And the peasant thing is a stick. It's, it's a, you know, comedians have sticks. People that have these YouTube channels have a stick. It's a stick. OK, like the battalion thing, the peasant thing is just something that we all can just, you know, swarm around and have fun with. Don't get too worried about it, man. I just I don't get my panties in a bunch when people get mad that I say it. I don't want you to get your goddamn, uh, you know, drawers in a bunch when I say it. If you're not a fan of it, just plug your ears whenever you feel like I'm about to say it. If you see it written on a title of my video, maybe not click on that one. I don't want to trigger you because that would be unfortunate because I am the peasant in chief. Next here we have inner prop. Ugh. I bought a P4 before they had the PS because I had to choose between a scissors and a pliers. I've kind of been wanting it for, for it to die so I could get a PS4. Is the style a good alternative? So of course the PS4 has been discontinued. The squirt, the Leatherman squirt PS4 has been discontinued by Leatherman. So you're asking is the Leatherman style a good alternative? They're kind of two different multi-tools. The Leatherman style is really good for traveling because it doesn't have a knife. If you really want a knife in your multi-tool from Leatherman, you're probably gonna be looking at something like the Micra or you might wanna try to get your, some, you can look at the style if you're okay with not having an actual knife inside or you can look at some of their competitors such as the gerber dime which right now is on sale for this amazon big prime stuff i'll link that up for you down below as well or you can check out sog power pint so could you find the leatherman squirt ps4 you can they're on amazon they're up charged out the wazoo they're on ebay they're up charged out the wazoo just like the juice is up charged if you really want it you can find it you know if it were i you really want the ps4 i would just say wait Wait a while because eventually people are going to stop charging so much money for an upcharge for these things. And I think you'll be able to get it for a more reasonable price 
but if you want to settle, you know, if you want the scissors or or whatever the case may be, then looking at those other options is something that you can look uh, you can you can check out. Next one here is Caden. It says, why do you care? It says 10 items to stop caring immediately. I don't care. I've done several of these type of videos. You know, I'm almost being labeled as the old man of EDC where it's kind of stay off my lawn with that EDC crap. But the purpose of the video is not to say because you're carrying it, you're bringing me anxiety. You do not affect anything that happens with me because of the items that you carry doesn't affect my engagement with my family. It doesn't it doesn't affect my ability to make it happen with Mrs. X in the bedroom. It doesn't affect the way I eat or sleep. I give zero fucks. I'm making a video because I'm trying to bring to light that if you carry these items, you may not need them. Maybe you want to think twice about carrying them. Maybe they're not a necessity for you. And maybe I can jog that idea or that thought in your head but if you still want to carry any of these items that i've talked about before i still carry some of them it's youtube no video you could actually literally put this question why do you care on any video someone does a review on the streamlight wedge why do you care about the streamlight wedge someone does a review on a bench made bug out why do you care about that someone does a review on a personal computer or a pc you can do this anywhere okay if you just want to troll continue to troll but at the end of the day, you can pound sand. OK, now the last one, last but not least, a question from Gus Bub says, um, what's the deal about portable battery charger in 2023? I've been asked this several times before as well. I got five kids, four live with me full time. My 14 year old is here pretty often. Three of those kids are under three years old and they know how to navigate my devices, whether it's my iPad mini my regular ass iPad Pro or any of my cell phones. They drain battery. I enjoy having a part of my EDC different battery chargers, whether it's that new Enzo one that I just picked up and I'm checking out or if it's something by Nikkor, something by Small Rig. I know you may not need one because you have God tier cell phone battery or you don't have a bunch of crumb snatchers that are around you all the time. But, sir, I'm telling you right now, when you got a, you got this many warm bodies that are always jockeying for your devices, a portable battery charger comes in handy faster than you can imagine looks like i helped quite a bit of you guys out today you should thank me by hitting that super thanks button and leaving money down below but you don't have to do that you can like the video leave a comment did you know that it's a fact that if you leave a comment on this video it's impossible for your comment not to get liked try it see what happens if this is your first time stopping by, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you a part of the battalion. If this is not your first time stopping by, well, thank you once again. You've already done your job. I'm not talking to you, okay? For everyone else, we'll speak soon.